We don't want Venezuela's ID cards. It's useless, says Vice President Barajac Dio on Sunday at a meeting with residents of Ana Regina. His response was directed to Venezuela's December 3rd referendum, in which the Nicolas Maduro-led administration is seeking permission from Venezuelans to annex the Esequibo and to distribute ID cards to Guyanese living there. Esequibo is the largest of Guyana's three counties, where five of the ten administrative regions are located, regions 1, 2, 7, 8 and 9. People don't want, people are fleeing your country, they'll see Rodriguez, if you don't, didn't notice it, or Maduro. People are fleeing there. They don't want your ID cards. We are happy to be Guyanese. We're happy to live in our own country. We're proud of where we are going as one people. We don't want your ID cards. We don't want you anywhere in our country. And so we need to debunk we need to debunk this propaganda that they're spreading every single day. They spread this among the Venezuelan people, how they are defending the rights of the Venezuelans because somehow Guyana is infringing on their rights. They're not defending your rights in Venezuela. They're defending their own political survival. That is what they're doing. In recent weeks, Venezuela has increased the number of troops on its side of the border, which is being seen as an attempt to intimidate Guyanese. Jagdeo told those gathered that Venezuela cannot be trusted and that all options to protect the country's territorial integrity and sovereignty are on the table. But then when you listen to people like Delcy, Delcy Rodriguez, you really can't believe what they say. And we must not trust anything that they say. So that means we have to make sure that all options are on the table in the defense of our country. Our diplomacy is very strong. As I mentioned to you earlier, no country in the world, maybe with the exception of the psychophants in, in Nicaragua, no other country in the world supports Venezuela. They would be totally isolated. And maybe Maduro thinks that this is Crimea where Russia annexed part of a territory there and they had some international conde condemnation. And he believes he can be emboldened to do that in Guyana without consequences. Well, he will be miscalculating. He'll be miscalculating. The entire diplomacy of our country is, is geared towards keeping our allies strong. And all the developed countries of the world, they made it clear, including Brazil, that the 1899 award is final. Because if you have to change that boundary, if they move to change that, they also have to change a settled border with Brazil. Brazil is not even contemplating that. So, we have to keep with our diplomacy. We have to go keep with our case at the court. Because whether Venezuela attends or not, whether they present their case or not, the International Court of Justice will hear the matter to its conclusion and they will rule on this matter. And we believe we have a strong case that would lead to the upholding of the 1899 award. And fortified with that ruling, then we'll have to ensure that Venezuela complies with it. Venezuela for decades has maintained its illegal claim to the Esequibo region. During that period, it has not produced any evidence to substantiate its illegal claim.